Hi, I'm Rick Hamilton, Chief Technology Officer for the Focused Ultrasound Foundation. Today I want to talk about a subject that we're all hearing a lot about, machine learning or ML. But I want to address ML in a context that you may not have considered, and that is the application of machine learning techniques to focused ultrasound or FUS. First, let's define what we mean by machine learning. ML is the science of getting computers to act without being explicitly programmed. And part of this encompasses training what are called supervised learning models to predict responses and outcomes based on past responses to a known set of inputs. And put in simple terms, these kind of models can help us better understand how complex systems might behave in the future. Over the past few years, ML has been rapidly changing healthcare. We've seen dramatic breakthroughs in many different health-related areas from models discovering new antibiotics to models solving the decades-old protein folding problem. Uh, this latter breakthrough predicts how protein structures form from amino acid sequences. Uh, this was something that research scientists had worked on for, for many, many years. Uh, we've also seen ML-driven improvements in things a little bit closer to home, like radiological image interpretation, uh, radiotherapy delivery, and, and numerous other health applications. Repeatedly, uh, we've seen that ML machine learning can improve healthcare efficiencies and enhance overall treatment quality. These changes are already making a very real and positive difference in patients' lives. Now, as focused ultrasound adoption increases and the resulting data sets grow, the time is right for practitioners in our field to begin thinking about a data science first approach to focused ultrasound. Uh, now, we've identified areas, quite frankly, where ML is already beginning to play a role in FUS research. But we also believe that in the months and years ahead, uh, the potential for machine learning to help patients in FUS is much greater than we've seen to date. Opportunities exist to improve patient selection processes and to enhance treatment planning, to better monitor treatments and interpret results, and frankly, in other areas that we haven't even considered or identified yet. So to move this forward, we need to collectively discuss potential high-value FUS ML use cases and the tools and approaches to tackle these use cases. We need to clearly understand the challenges inherent in applying these techniques to focused ultrasound data sets, and we should learn from others' healthcare ML successes and their setbacks. Finally, we should collectively engage expert resources to help us chart our path wisely and develop our respective roadmaps for the future. Now, I'll be candid, data science and machine learning are not panaceas, uh, but rather they're a set of tools which, when used intelligently, can inform our decisions to drive better outcomes. So in response to this unique time, the Focused Ultrasound Foundation has launched a machine learning acceleration program, which comprises several related efforts. We will help you understand uh, developments and advances in the world of FUS ML. We'll do this through website and email updates and through sharing ideas from numerous uh, research and clinical context. We will convene parties to find areas of common interest and work to ensure mutual gains across diverse players. We'll provide resources and information to assist you, uh, slowly at first, but, but building over time. And of course, the Foundation will continue uh, to fund research, which generates new breakthroughs and makes a difference in patients' lives. All this while we look to the horizon with, with big ideas for further advancing the state of the field in the future. I would close by urging each of you working in Focused Ultrasound to reach out to me letting me know your thoughts on this effort and the ways in which we might collaborate. Uh, my email address, they told me, is, is going to be listed below. Uh, I would also ask you to sign up for the community of practice to receive updates and to join the conversation on our machine learning user forum, links for which are also below. Finally, for those of you interested in actively advancing the state of FUS ML, consider participating with other active clinicians and researchers in one of our working groups. This will be a lengthy journey. Put together, we can transform future therapies and improve both patient experiences and outcomes. I look forward to these conversations and to helping each of you successfully navigate the opportunities ahead. Thank you.